my god What's up everyone, it's Kevin here and welcome to Nagoya. I'm so excited to be here. We are literally in the center of Japan and I am really excited to bring you guys all around to some of the most interesting places you can see in Nagoya. So come along with me as we explore this place. I've literally just arrived and now I have some coffee in my hand to keep me awake but we are now in the Chubu International Airport known as Central Air and this is the place where I want to bring you guys around because it's a really cool airport. So this is Shibu International Airport known as Central Air. You can check it out, it's really spacious and big and this is where most passengers from international flights will pass through. There's something that you should see all around. This place is really famous for ninjas. There's actually a culture and history all about ninjas in Nagoya and you can see there's so many of them right here which I think is pretty cool. What I think is quite interesting, we are at the sky deck at level 4. Huge area that goes all the way to the end and is also a viewing deck that allows you to see the airplanes up close near the hangar. How cool is that? People literally just stand here by the edge, we're at the edge right now, to see all the planes taking off. Woo! So it's kind of like a sightseeing in a way. And over there, far end, is the sea. So now I have to put the red bean on the toast. Mmm, it's really good. Mm. Really fluffy. And the red bean is so sweet. Mm. So good with the butter. Alright, it's a really sunny day and right now my first stop here is at Inuyama, which means Dog Mountain. So you can take a look around, it's a traditional area, very calm. And right behind me are really historical places. One is the shrine and also a castle. So we're gonna head into these places and adventure. Okay, it's a bit of a walk up this slope into the Inuyama castle. We can just have a little exercise up this slope. So now we're at the entrance of the castle and I'm actually really excited. This is my first time going into a Japanese castle. And what more, this place, Inuyama Castle, was built in 1537. It's one of the 12 original castles left in Japan. You can appreciate its natural beauty. We are now inside on the first floor of the castle. You can see everything is made out of wood. Literally wooden ceiling, wooden floors, and also wooden window panels. So here we have the watch point on the first floor. There's windows where watchmen can notice the enemies approaching and attack with arrows. This building, the walls are turning in diagonally like this. So that the building appears larger from this side which I think is really cool. Right, now we are at the very top rooftop. Wow. This is amazing. Right, 
nearby the Inuyama castle is this Sanko Inari shrine. So it's actually at the base of the castle. And this is a shrine where people come to pray for prosperous business. So if you have any wishes or prayers, you can do it at this area. And behind me is also known as a Himeki shrine, where you can actually write any prayers or wishes for relationships. All their wishes in these little hearts. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Probably not coming through. <laughs> Over here at the shrine, if you have a business, you can actually wash some coins with the shrine water and it's like good luck to increase your fortune. I'm gonna ride a rickshaw for the first time. Alright! <laughs> yes, this is so thrilling! Udon. 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 Ramen. Yes. Alright. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. And for lunch, we are at this place. Okay, so this restaurant shop sells everything that is pickled. Actually, everything here is pickled. Seaweed. We have tofu. We have radish. We really love pickled stuff. This is for you. We're gonna try a Japanese snack called Gohei Mochi, which is miso paste rice cake. <laughs> wow, it's really savory and has a charred flavor, which is pretty interesting. Okay, our next spot this is a really iconic building. We are here at Nagoya TV Tower. Check it out, it's really tall and it's one of the first TV towers in Japan. So where this tower is, it's a really trendy area. It's nearby the Hisaya Odori Park, right behind me. And if we go nearer to it, here's some shops underneath, and you can actually go all the way up to see the sky view of this area. If you like, there's actually a souvenir shop in the tower. So you can buy some merchandise, goods here, Nagoya TV Tower chocolates. This is so cute. So apparently a thing in Nagoya is red bean and butter. So we can see they have red bean and butter here. Red bean and butter snacks here too. Only in Nagoya you can actually find this combination. Right now we are at the sky deck in a way which is one floor above so it's even higher now. Another view of 360 above the city with the sun now about 4 p.m. You can see there's like a golden nice light across all the buildings. So now we're in the same place but at night you can see the colors are all brightly lit up and it's just really festive and uh, kind of like a sparkly illumination going on all across the tower and this place. Alright, so this is my hotel room that I'm staying in in the Senko in Grand Nagoya. It's a really nice and compact room 
which is really suitable for me because I'm only staying for like a few nights here. I guess for the central location, it's really prime. And I'll show you something really cute. They actually gave like this hotel, I'm not sure what is this, like pajamas or like massage robe. But this is really comfy. Never seen the hotel give this before. So yeah, I think I'll wear this to sleep. Alright, good morning guys. It's day 2 of Nagoya. I slept so well, I think like almost 10 hours. The view from my hotel room. Wow, look at that. It's so blue. And the time now is like 7.10. So you can see the sun rises really early. Okay, I'm now just getting ready. And our first destination for day 2 is going to be something eye-opening and thrilling. It's the Gozaisho Ropeway. And this is an aerial lift line that climbs up Mount Gozaisho to give a heart-stopping view. So I'm really excited. Alright, we are now here at the Gozaisho Ropeway. You can see the weather is totally different here. The climate is nice and cool and slightly misty. Right behind me is an example of how the gondola will be. You can fit up to 10 people in one gondola. We are starting! So the cable car is going at a very stable rate, so it doesn't feel shaky. We're gonna ride a one-person gondola lift, which is eight minutes long. Wow! Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! This is crazy! Oh my goodness guys, I have never wrote anything like this! So this is really relaxing. I feel like I'm on a personal swing ride. Yeah, the mist gives off this really interesting feel. It's almost like I'm in a fairy tale, like an adventure park. We made it, it doesn't look like it, but we are now at the top. The summit of Mount Gozaisho, 1,217 meters above land. This is it. I guess you could have a little picnic at this very top. Some people actually hike up here as part of a mountain trail. And now they are enjoying the cool air. Really milky. Right, remember how I said that Nagoya is famous for its history of ninjas? Well, when luck, today I am here in Mie to see the Ninja Museum of Igaru. And this is where we're going to learn more about the history of ninjas. And no, it's not like what you see in the media. It's actually very different than that. Ninjas are actually people who carry out ninjutsu and also secret missions and also to protect important people. So let's uncover more. And it may look like an ordinary place, but actually there's a lot of hidden traps and like uh, secret passages within the building. Oh! Wow. And there you have it guys, your escape plan. And voila! <laughs> I did a magic trick. But so this is a look, may look like an ordinary shrine, but underneath, the escape from the enemies. This is also a secret place to conceal the katanas. We actually have a little wood plank here, which you can easily pop it up to reveal your weapons. Oh wow, looks like a, like a shelf. Yeah, it does look like a shelf. We're learning so much about these ninja secret compartments all around the house. I think it's really interesting. Okay, we came down here and now we're at the area of all the artifacts and exhibition items of ninja life and tools. You see here all the equipment that ninjas would use in the past. Right over here, 
Wow, there's so many things to learn over here. Katanas, we have weapons, we have clothes, some of the shurikens. Okay. I will try. Okay. Oh. I know. Okay. I. B. E. R. Plan two. Okay. Okay. I know. Why? Let's go. Ayo. Hola. Let's start. It's, it's hard. hard. It's, it's really, really hard. Oh, but I tried. I'm a film ninja. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know. So over here I have a beef and egg don, which is really tasty, really creamy and also very moist. Alright, that was a really interesting ninja museum like exhibition. I really enjoyed and I feel like everyone should come here and visit because it's really eye-opening. So yes, come to Iga and also Nagoya to see the ninja culture and experience everything that this place has to offer. I'm gonna end the video right here and I will continue in part two. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!